Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Cal Expo Sacramento here on Thursday. It is July the 26th, 2018. I'm going to look at races 2 and 6 from Sacramento, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Uh, I'm going to look at races 2 and 6. Let's get on to it. So the second race is for the mules. It's a speed index going for a purse of $4,300. It's for 3 year olds and upwards with an average speed index of 6 and under field of six horses here going the distance of ground of 350 yards you know here on the east coast we don't have a lot of uh, quarter horse races let alone mule races so when i see these races i do like to handicap and watch them because they're fun weird races um my, my top selection here i like the number three horse image of tomahawk i'm gonna go three six four two in the super factor three six four two super my exacta here um, you know, I have a, my top selection is a 15 year old mare and the six horse, my, uh, and the second horse in the exact is a 16 year old horse. So if you combine the ages of the horse, I'm not even, you know, I'm about three quarters of that age. I'm 22 right now. Um, that's about 31. And, and, you know, if, if you combine the horse's ages, so it's uh, pretty weird that you see a 15 and a 16 year old mule in these races, but, um, you know whatever uh, my top selection the, the three horse image of tomahawk two to one here jose rodriguez is on this one for shelly uh for helen shelly excuse me horse's most recent outing came at oak tree pleasanton 315 a speed index last week you know this horse finished fourth by two lengths he closed up well at the end um you know it wasn't a bad race there before that at oak tree pleasanton 315 a speed index he finished third by length and he just couldn't get that good closing kick there you know it wasn't his day to win and then first off the break at, at pleasanton 350 speed index he finished third by two and a quarter lengths he broke well that day set the pace early on and then he just kind of hit the wall about 50 yards from the wire just couldn't keep up with him at the end um and then before that last fall Fre uh, fresno 315 speed index horse finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths again he just had nothing um you know his last two of last year weren't very good races but um i think coming here change of scenery at sacramento i think he's gonna run a big race he's had a workout since since the last race here at sacramento 220 and 15.8 184 um 18 excuse me um which was the best workout of two that day i think he's rearing to go and i'll take my chances here at two to one um so to recap my selection for the second from sacramento gonna go with the three horse image of tomahawk gonna go three six four two in the super facto so now let's get on to race number six. The sixth race is a claiming race, purse $18,000. This race is for three-year-olds and upwards never won two races here. Field of six horses going the distance of ground of 1,200 meters or the distance of ground of six furlongs on the Sacramento Cal Expo main track. 1,200 meters, six furlongs. Something I noticed when uh, harness tracks convert to uh to have the um the flats go the thoroughbred horses the the, the uh the makeshift racetracks usually have really fast times um you know the metal engine years ago used to have you know used to be a very speed favoring and you'd see some very fast miles and six furlongs on that uh you know that racetrack here in sacramento too looking over the uh, some of these races they've run you know they run quite fast here a little faster than the average meet which i like um but um back to the subject of the six race my top selection here i like the number six horse tough timber I'm gonna go six three five four in the super facta six three five four super top selection to six horse tough timber six-year-old yelling by tough game catalina martinez is on this one this horse ran his most recent outing the 30th of june that came at oak tree pleasanton six furlongs in the claiming 1250 horse won by one three quarter lengths there he you know he sat back early a little bit wide in the straight at, around the at the quarter pole but he, he got there in the end a good race for this horse there um his first win in 2018 off of two offerings before that at golden gate five and a half claiming 16 he finished fifth by five and a quarter lengths there very wide he said you know he stalked pace early on and he, and he just couldn't get that good closing kick there and then at pleasant uh, excuse me fresno last fall six furlongs claiming 16 horse finished third by five and three quarter lengths you know he just 
you know, he had a really shit race there. He just didn't keep a straight course, and he, and he just ran crappy. And then before that, Golden Gate Six Frontals claimed 20 horse finish third by two and three quarter lengths. He broke well that day, stalked early, and then he just hit the wall. Uh, wasn't his day to win at the end. But he is two for two here at Sacramento. Both of his races were just easy victories. I expect him to run another big one here today. His, his preferred surface, I think, also is dirt, not the tapita at Golden Gate. So watch out for him here to run a big one. So to recap my selections for the six from Sacramento, going to go with the six horse Tough Timber. Going to go six, three, five, four in the Superfecta. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.